What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video I'm going to show you how you can strip down vinyl products. So the custom vinyl jankies that we have here today we're going to be demonstrating how you can strip the paint off these to customise them for yourself. So I'm going to do a guide on what you can use products in the house um, and the best stuff that I find to make my customs with uh, to show you what I use when I make mine. So I did make customs a long time ago. I used to make candy um, pop um, pop figures and they used to be absolutely fantastic. I used to um, you know, make them and sell them but I never used to really have too much time to do them. So what I'm doing now is I'm concentrating on making some custom pieces um, for the jankies. I want to make quite a lot of them and then when I've done them I will give you a sneak peek today um, in this video of what I have and what I've been working on over the past few months and weeks um, just to show you what, what's going on. So you can use thinners. I don't like to use thinners when I'm stripping them down. The only reason I say that is because it is quite a harsh product and it does burn into it a little bit and I feel like it makes it a bit hazy but you can use it if you are really sparingly with it um, to take it off but I will do I will demonstrate to you on these to show you what I mean. Um, the other stuff that I found that you can use is nail um, nail varnish or polished you know nail gel remover stuff like that this is some stuff that I've used before absolutely fine to use it does take a little while to get it off um, but I found that the best product to use was this actually, this is from Poundland. This is the cheapest product that I found and it is the best stuff to get it off. So it is artificial nail and tip remover. Um, it's mainly acetone and water. So that is what that is and that's the best stuff that I found to use. This one is nail varnish, nail polish remover. And then this one's mainly industrial, what you would use for cars. So first of all, um, I'm just going to show you on one of these the best thing to do if you are working on them always wear gloves you want to make sure you're wearing gloves because you want to make sure your hampers are protected this stuff will burn through your gloves most of them will burn through your gloves eventually so make sure you've got a few sets or a packet uh, handy so that you can you know change them you always want to make sure you don't have it on your fingers and do it in a well ventilated area this room Probably isn't ventilated enough for what I'm about to do, um, but I'm not going to be doing it for long. I'm only going to just demonstrate to you how you can do it. So you can use cotton pads. So these are little cotton pads here. And the difference between um, these and the product that I use, I'll show you the difference. So this is sort of like made of cotton wool and it's quite a thick material. Um, but I don't know if you can see in the air, it's pretty, it's giving off like dust particles and stuff like that. And I don't like the way it takes the paint off. I mean, you can use this. It's absolutely fine. If you don't have anything else, use this. But the ones that I tend to use, the ones that I like to use, um, are these um, professional lint free wipes. So they're these little pads here. And they just look like that. So they give off no dust and also they're not as thick. So what happens is it tends to get in all the little creases uh, and gets out all the paint that you'd want it to get out. So these are definitely good ones to use. I'm going to demonstrate with both of them just to show you. Um, just first of all, just going to quickly put my gloves on. Um, I'm excited to show you the customs that we've got coming, guys. I still haven't worked out price ranges. I want to make my customs affordable um, for people in the US and worldwide. And for the people in the UK, obviously, the postage isn't going to be an issue. But postage is where I struggle to do it. So I'll probably do the first £10 I'll pay for. And then what we'll do is then say it would probably be, say, like, 15 to 20 pound postage because to get it in the US to make sure that it's safe and signed for and covered um, you know you want to make sure um, that you have all that and the insurance on it so that you get it and if it's damaged then obviously you're covered as well as me so right so first of all I don't know what we're going to choose it doesn't really matter I'm stripping them down I will do a separate video and showing you how to take the heads of these guys and I also will show you what I use to paint them as well. I'm not going to show you uh, that in this video. This video is literally just stripped down. As you can see, it's really easy. Uh, most of the customs that I make, I don't even need to take the heads off because what I'll do is I'll show you how I mask them up on the feet and to paint them. So I will show you that in this video too. Uh, the same with this, the, the arms, they just pull off. So you just, you pull them and they come off really easily. The shoes, we everybody in the print knows that the shoes already come off. Um, so they just pull off, which is not too bad. 
but I want to demonstrate to you. So I'm going to do the back of his head first and I'm going to do it with the thinners and I'm going to use this cloth. So I want to make sure that this video doesn't last forever. And I want to just show you how well stuff comes off when you're using it. So all you need to do is just rub it on very lightly. I don't know if you can see, but it's getting it off. But with what, how I feel that when it's taking off the, uh, the art vinyl, is I feel like um, I feel like the the thinners is quite rough on it. I don't like how it it feels like it's it's almost eating into the plastic. So that is really soft now. Where I've taken it off with the fin, it's really really soft there. And if you push on that, you can feel that's a bit fuzzy and a bit furry. So it does eat into it quite badly. Um, but if you're really careful and you go over it quickly, you should be okay. If you don't have any other products to use. So the next thing that I want to do, I'm just going to pop them out of the way. I want to show you using these little um, lint-free ones because I like the lint-free ones better. So I'm just going to pop down a bit of thinners and then I'm going to move this thinners out of here because it's really strong. You can pick up thinners uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, so with the lint roll, uh, with the lint-free um, wipes, as you can see, they're so much easier to use. They get in the gaps and I feel like they take it off um, loads loads better than when you're using the cotton wool ones because the cotton wool ones they tend I feel like they leave behind a little bit of fluff I don't know why I just feel like they leave a bit of fluff behind it it might just be me but I just like the lint free wipes better um, and you get so many of them and they go so far so we'll just rub that off and we're just going to take the back of his um, logo off there and as you can see, it rubs away really nicely, just like that. So it leaves the back of the head gone, and then the back of the, the you know, the, the writing or the decal that was on the back of it is now being removed. So um, it's left behind a little smudge on the back there, and also um, the way it feels, it feels fine, um, but you can feel that there is something there where maybe it's eating, it starts slowly eating into um, the vinyl itself, So which I don't really like the fact that it's doing that. Right, so just pop that out of the way, and what we'll do is we'll just put this down at the side, just away so it's not straight underneath my nose. So that is that one that you can use. Right, so we're going to do the same test, and we're going to use the cotton pad, and we're going to use the lint free pad as well. Uh, and we're going to use this one. So this is just now standard nail polish remover. Um, it says for brittle nails, um, it says it's moisturizing as well. So it has some elements in there. And let's just give it a couple of little dabs. And we will take the heart off the back of this one. So this is gonna be the back of the donut. So we'll just take it, that off. So if you rub over that nicely, you'll start to see without much effort that it gets it off. It does leave behind, again, Sort of broken up bits of paint. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like broken up bits of paint on there, and you have to keep wiping over and wiping over. And uh, to me, that you know, that's quite annoying, and that you have to keep wiping it off and then using a clean bit. Um, but it does work. So if you only have a nail polish remover at home, then you can use that to get rid of it as well. Um, but like I said, uh, I want to just show you what it's like using. What are they? They're just lint-free wipes. So these ones here, so I don't know, they're not expensive. You can usually get them for a pound, a couple of quid. So um, best stuff. So let's just use this one. So these are the lint-free ones and I just love how they take things off. So I'm gonna go with the donut on the back here, on the back of his back, and then just gonna wipe over it just a few times, just to show you that it comes off again. It breaks the paint up in a way that it goes all bit sort of like I'd say like um, it's got little bits which isn't great not when you're trying to do something like this but again I mean as you can see when it's taking off the, um, the the logo which is what you want you know this is preparing it ready for you to customize these so there you go so that's taken it off it's completely stripped but let's just put that out of the way so these are the these are the bits of you so that's the thinners and the nail polish remover. Um, 
So that, that that's fine. You can use that. That is not an issue. I, I would say that that's fine to use. The thinners, I would say, is a bit too strong. You could use it if that's the only thing you've got. Like I said, just make sure you do that. You can water it down a tiny bit if you need to. Uh, just use um, what you've got at home. You don't have to go out and specially buy stuff. Um, but let me just show you with this. So I'm not even going to worry with the cotton pad because I'm just going to show you how good this stuff is. This is a pound from Poundland. So this is the cheapest stuff you can get. And this is what I strip my customers with to do my customizations. So let's just strip one. I want to see how quick I can strip the whole part of the head off because it will be fast. So just a couple of little dabs, two dabs, the same as the last one. And then here we go. So I'm going to hold it so you can see and then rub his face. It's gone. Rub his head, do around his ears. This will start to, this is quite pink, so it will take off as much as possible. But I'm just gonna show you that this will, this one little white should strip the whole of his head. With ease, as you can see, it's coming off. It's leaving behind, because it's mixed with water, it's leaving behind a nice feeling on the top of his head. It's not, it's got going, um, the paint's not breaking up into bits. It's just literally coming straight off and going straight on to the cotton pad, um, not the cotton pad, the lint free pad, shall I say, sorry. So I'm just gonna wipe that over there like that. And as you can see, that got that off completely. Just gonna go over that bit. So you can open this up, turn it inside out, wipe over his face again. And then what I'm gonna do, as you can see, is taking all the, pretty much all the paint off. And then we just need one more little dab for the, um, the lint free pad that I have with this, just one more little dab, that's all it needs, just to finish off getting rid of the rest of the bits of colour. And this little lint pad picks, just picks up the colour so easy, uh, strips it down. All you would need is like a spray adhesive on this, you probably wouldn't even need to key it up with any sort of grey scotch or any um, sandpaper because the paint will stick to that lovely, because that's taken it off really nicely. Um, I've still got a few bits of residue on the back from when we used the last product. It gets right in the gaps, so like where his chain is on the back of his neck, it gets right in there. And we're going to use this same wipe. You know that I just did one dab. We'll just turn his head right round. We just did one dab. We're just going to use that to take off just the rest of his uh, pattern on his body so he doesn't have any more. Just turn that around. Get inside that gap there. You, you will need to just push inside there. I want to show you on hands as well how it's done because with the hands... Um, some people struggle to get the little bits out, but these get them out absolutely perfect. So I'll we'll just finish off his uh, chest here, just like that. We just put it up that way around. As, as I said, you can take the heads off. We will do a video showing you how to take the heads off easily um, without them breaking, because a lot of people, um, you know, had them broke uh, when they tried to take them off because they are in there. They're, they're designed. Um, when they go in there, they are designed to go in and stay in um, because of how they are, because they, they're thin at the top and then they open up at the bottom. So when you're trying to pull them out, you're trying to pull out the big bit, um, whereas when they go in, they're only going in by the small section, uh, which makes it a lot easier. So there you go. Just finishing this one off, just a little bit more. Look at the colors on that. Strips it off really nicely. I uh, just want to, this one's so bright because this is the donut, um, the donut one for series two and he is so bright, has so much color in him, but he's such a good one to customize, um, you, mainly because they're quite common. Um, I'd say that the Pete Fowler one, the purple one is quite a common one um, that you'd find in there as well. Just gonna get rid of all these last bits and I don't know if you can see, it's eating away at my glove. So I told you it would eat away at your glove and then your glove will break, so that's when you need to make sure um, you either replace your glove and get a new glove or whether you're gonna stick with that one, that's fine. But there you go, so he's completely stripped and that didn't take hardly any time at all. And that is him there, and that's the back of him. And he's completely stripped down. So it didn't take hardly any time at all. So there you go, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this glove off. This glove's fine at the minute, so I'm gonna keep that glove on and I'm just going to replace this one, the one that got damaged. And I'm just gonna show you with the hands, 
using this stuff because this is the favorite stuff that I like. And I'm just going to just go over that with two dabs uh, and just show you a shoe. So let's just, we could choose any shoe, it's fine. Let's just choose this one. So this is the white um, shoe here. So as you can see there, all the color on there and everything, just go over that, just rub over it. Doesn't take a lot. Just go over like that. It'll be done in no time. Rub around the edges, make sure you get all the pink out and the creases. If you're just going to prime these up afterwards, you don't need to worry about the paint inside the gaps too much um, because you know you will just be painting over that. But if you are just going to be keeping those pieces uh, that color, say like the white and such, then you will need to get rid of it. But there you go, completely stripped shoe. Doesn't take any time at all. Right, so we'll show you with the hand. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this blue hand here and show you on there. So I'm just gonna get another wipe. Um, as I said, these are small, very small wipes, and there's so many of them, so you'll be fine. I'm just gonna do two dollops. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the hand, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna mix it in between, rub it all over, it doesn't take long at all, until all the paint comes off. Here we go. And then to do in between the hand, whoop, as you can see, it's taken all the paint off already, it's completely stripped. Feels really nice afterwards as well. So you can definitely we'll need much preparation to get ready to paint on top of that. And then what I'll do is I will be doing another video again, guys, um, demonstrating to you what paints I've used, what um, types of paints I've used. I've even used um, nail gel uh, as well. So. That's really good. So what you do is you just put the tip of that into his hand like he's holding it, and then you just move it backwards and forwards like that, the hand, and then what it does, it takes out all the paint from the palm of his hand. It's another stripped hand there. So there you go. So we're completely stripped uh, the, the body down of this one. So that one's done. Let's get rid of any excess. So I've shown you how to do that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I mask them up ready to paint. So I'm going to take my gloves off for this and I will have to get a new fresh pair because these are tainted and I don't want to touch my customs with these. So don't touch anything that you, um, you know, that you've painted already because this will strip it off because you have fingers and you have paint remover on your hands. So make sure you do not do that. I'll talk you through my customs and what I use. So I use straws. So... Here you go, so these are the straws that I use. So I always tend to use cardboard straws, not plastic straws. Um, we don't want something where the paint will go on and then when you paint over the top of it with something else, it starts to flake. You wanna make sure that you use, um, I try to, to tend to, you can pick these up really, really cheap. They're like 50p for like 100, you know, they're so cheap straws. So you wanna make sure you use a good masking tape. You wanna use something that's really good, something that is nice and sticky, not really cheap stuff if you can help it because this masking tape will go a long way. All you need to do, you need to push it on the bottom of the foot. If you could find something that went over the foot, that would be fine. You could do something like that. But you just need to, you want to make sure that the only the tip of your foot is masked off. Because I like to have a little bit where it's not got paint so that it doesn't push off um, when I am painting. Because uh, when you push it into the shoe, sorry. Because when you're painting it, you want to make sure that this doesn't push up and then pull all the paint off. If you have none on the bottom foot where it goes into the shoe, uh, I find that you are a lot easier uh, for you to um, work on them and push it into the shoe afterwards without any of the paint flaking. So that's one. So there you go. And as you can see, he isn't going to go anywhere. That is sturdy as anything. So you can paint this, move it around, hold it as you're painting. If you're using the brush, you can get in there into the fine intricate pieces there. So I'm just gonna do the other one because I just wanna show you the process of how I do it. So I'll put it around this way. Just hold it into place. Put a little bit of tape on. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it depends how uh, anal you are with your lines, how you want them to look. I just need to push that up through and around. Um, like that and then that is it that's all you need to do so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I do with mine so I tend to tape them together like so and then at the bottom I tape up the bottoms here like that and then what I do 
is when I have painted something, and you're gonna see one of my demonstration, one of my customs that I'm making uh, currently, and I'll tell you a mistake that you probably might make as well. So, uh, so here is one of my customs that I'm making. So this is silver chrome janky here, and they are all gonna be presented in um, display cases and they're all going to be showcased and you will not be able to get them out of the case They're going to be in the case they come with the case and they'll have a nice presentation box uh, And everything like that and they're going to be like a collector's edition one um, And th these are art pieces that I'm making uh, So I want to make sure that they are presented in an art style box and container for you guys And I'll show you that in a second what I'm on about so right. so when you painted it So you've like done what you need to do you spray painted it you've touched in details You want to put it somewhere you don't want to put it down because you're going to ruin all your thing, because you want to wait for it to dry, you just pop it in here, and then you just wait. So you just need to find some. This is just a glass bowl. You don't have to use this. As you can see, I've got a glass here. You can easily just put it in a glass. Make sure it's a glass and not something plastic, because that will topple over, um, which is absolutely fine. And what I'm going to do now is, again, I'm going to just show you a sneak peek of a few bits, a few top tips that I use. So when I'm doing the shoes, so when I want to paint the shoes, what I tend to do is wrap a bit of masking tape around the end of a um, straw again. And then you just pop that in the bottom. So you want to make sure it's thick enough to go in. Pop that in, just like that. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off. So you can paint that, and then when you're done, all you need to do is hold the top, and then pull the top out, and then your shoe is done. But do not push it off until it's dry, guys. Okay, so that's going to be ready to go. Once they're all painted, the same, I'll show you how I did the hands. So this is the hand, and this is the mistake that you might make, which I'm going to tell you. So when you are customizing them, if you do one at a time, you're fine. If you're going to do a few, which like I do, because I like to change the shoes up and stuff like that, and you paint the hands, make sure you've got a left and right hand when you're doing it. Because I have painted two of the same side hands by accident uh, by not checking that. So you want to make sure that that is done so that you don't, paint the wrong side so I did two left hands which is why this hands here and not attached to the custom janky is because I painted the hand on another one a different color wrong so um, which I had up there earlier which is now gone right so this is one of this hasn't been stripped down yet this will be stripped down this is just kind of a, a sneak peek at one of the customs I'm making um, he won't look like this obviously he's got to be stripped down I am just warming up to what I need to do um, if you want to manipulate stuff plastic straws are great for that so this little staff here that I'm making all I did is got a lighter to heat up the bottom of that and then I put it into his hand and then I molded it into his hand so that every time it goes to go back in, it will fit in there. So there's another little top tip for you guys. Also, if you want to manipulate the hands to hold things bigger, or you want to make the thumb rise so that he's doing thumbs up and stuff like that, heat these up in really boiling hot water, and then you can put stuff like screwdrivers into the hands until the hands are bigger, or until you've manipulated the thumb so his thumbs up. You can do stuff like that to manipulate this plastic if you want to change the uh, way the hand looks. So just a little tip for you. Right, so these are spare pieces here. But I may, want to make sure that I cover everything with you guys. I am going to be doing another video. Um, if there's any questions that you have, any tips that you would like, um, please let me know. Please don't ask us how to chrome. Uh, it's a really long, hard process. When I've got my um, page up and running to be able to sell them on, I will, probably will do a video on how to do that. So just to show you how it's done. But I want to just give you a sneak peek at a few things that are up and coming. Oh, I did say I promised to show you how, I'd, how I do the hands as well, because obviously, you can do it all attached, but you will miss places and then, um, you know, things will get stuck into place. So if you have the hand like this and then you paint all the way around the hand and when you move the hand back when it articulates, what you'll find is it will scrape away the paint because the paint is the same thickness as the arm. So that's a, that's that. So this is a bit fiddly for people that have got, I don't know, that are not used to fiddly stuff. But what you need to do is you see that, that little nibble there. You don't really want to get paint on that because you want that to push back into the arm of the janky. So... All you need to do is just start it off on the corner and then spin the, the hand and the arm around so that all the tape is doing is sitting on the edge of that little nib at the end there. It is um, a bit of a process once you get the hang of it, then you will be fine with it. So it should look like that, okay? So when you've done that, what you can do is you can take your straw and then you just need to push your straw onto the end, spin the straw around until the arm fits in. And now you have a little stick 
and you can paint and do what you want to it, touch it up, get close to it without touching it. And then that's another little top tip for you. Right guys, now I'm gonna get onto, I've done that for you, uh, all the advice there for you. If you have any questions, like I said, please make sure you comment down in the comment section down below. Ask me anything that you need to ask. Um, and also, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek at some of the stuff that's up and coming. It'll be on my Instagram, so if you wanna go down below, check out my Instagram, I'm gonna be posting on that. I still need to figure out a way, like I said, on price-wise, um, but I wanna just give you, an, I'm just so excited about showing you what I've been working on. Um, and they're up and coming, they're not ready yet, but they will be. So this is Smile Janky. Let's put them here. So this Janky um, is quite a cool design that I think um, that I've done. So he is white with like a, a, a nice blue, nice baby blue uh, pattern on him. He's got a sign that says smile. If we turn it around here, you can see um, that the pattern goes all the way around him. You might want to pause and zoom in. I don't want to take him too close. So it's going to be loads of up close shots for you on this. And I'm just going to just show you a little demonstration. So I am making custom bases for all of them. They all will come fixed to their bases and they will be like a design um, design to go with. So what you pay for, you will get every single janky will come with his own unique case designed to match him. So there you go. This is the base of it. And then we have these domes. And as you can see, these domes will go over here like that. And then he will sit inside the dome. So he will be inside that and he'll match it. And then this will be sealed in and he'll be uh, sealed to the bottom base so that he can't get damaged. Because this is this is an art collectible. Uh, you don't really need to take it out and touch it. If you have it in this uh, collector's case, I feel that it's going to be so much better um, so it doesn't get touched. It's always going to be, um, as the day it was made, it's still going to be unique and it's still gonna look as fresh as it did uh, without any knocks and dings um, to the vinyl itself. So there's that one that I've shown you. I'm not gonna show all of them to you because I have some really um, creative pieces coming, um, but it's taken me a little while to do. This one is almost finished. He isn't attached yet, but I just wanna show you him. So this is the golden black janky. I'll just take him out of the dome so you can see. And as you can see there, that's the front of him, that's the back. They're all done even on the bottoms and they have uh, glitter matching stands, so podiums there. And as I said, these will come fixed with the dome and the bases to match each one. And I will sign the bottom of them so that they have the FWA4 logo at the bottom. I'll just show you one more. So, here you go. Chrome bronze. Painted. Each individual piece put back together, have a matching base and everything. And little chrome booties. And then there is, obviously you've seen the one here where I'm creating, I've got other ones that are on the go. Uh, this one has been taking a long time to do. Uh, I'm still working on it, so this will be Space Janky. Um, it took a little while to create the helmet for him, but I am going to be making a few of these with the helmets. So I just need to make, this is the prototype one. Uh, as you can see, he will be all coloured up and he will come with matching stand and dome as well. So he will match that as well. So guys, like I said, thanks very much for watching. I can't wait to do another video for you. This one's probably run on a little bit too long, but I want to make sure I covered everything. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and you've been excellent and I'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.